What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome on back to our Pokemon Y walkthrough. In the last episode, we took down the second gym leader, Grant, you know, did a little bit of rock climbing, burned some calories, but now we are back to, uh, or well, back on track, sort of. Uh, well, it's not like we did a detour, but you know what I mean, we're getting back on the main road and heading into Route 10, Menher Tra- I'm- I said that wrong, yo. Sorry to any French people out there. But anyways, Route 10 will take us to Geosinch Town, which hopefully we will reach by the end of this episode. Now right there's a berry, and then you'll immediately see some flowers over here. And uh, unfortunately, the Pokemon I'm looking for is a lot more rare in these flowers. But I am going to be trying to catch my fourth team member today, so keep that in mind. But I won't be looking for them in, uh, in these flowers, so we'll wait a little bit. And let's get to taking on the trainers. Now, as for the new wild Pokemon you can find, you've got things like Sigilyph, Golit, Halucha, Snubble, Houndor in Pokemon X, Electric in Pokemon Y, and then Eevee and Emolga. So a ton of new options for you to get. Also, if you uh, get lucky enough to find some hordes, you can find things like Nosepass and Yanma. So again, lots of new options for you. And um, also, did this thing boost its special defense? That stinks for us. But yeah, um, I will be catching one of those new mons. Um, you can go ahead and take a guess at what it's going to be if you'd like. But for now, we are just going to take down this Psychic. And yeah, Route 10 will take us to Geosinch Town, which is the next town, but it doesn't have a gym or anything like that. It'll just be a nice little place to stop at and check out. And there's some important things going on over there as well. But yeah, we only have two gym badges, and I'm already about to get my fourth team member. But I promise you, we are about to get, um, you know, a lot more, or about to be taking on a lot more gyms more frequently, because the gap between the first and second gym is a lot bigger than the gap between, like, the second and third, and the third and fourth, and the fourth and fifth. So yeah, I mean, after we beat the third gym, we basically do one route, and then we're at the gym, and then same with the fourth and fifth gym, so... It is, uh, it's going to be happening pretty rapidly, but for now we've got Floette out on the field, still just uh, a little bit lower than the rest of the team. But yeah, I can't wait to catch this new team member again. I'm going to wait to get to the grass because I'm pretty sure it's like, I don't know, a 5%, maybe like 2%, 10% chance to get it in the yellow flowers. It's a lot more common in the grass, so I'm just making it easy on myself. But, uh, yeah, oh my gosh, we still have the Lanoon gaining experience. I remember some people were saying they wanted to see the uh, Shiny come on the team, like, for good, just because this is Shiny. But, uh, you know, I kind of said, nah, I already got my team of six planned out, but, hey, technically it's already on the team right now. I mean, it is gaining levels, and we have it on the team just because of Cut. Now, you saw that big Strength boulder back there, too. Um, we'll get Strength, I think, somewhat soon, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I can't remember where you get it. I know we get Surf soon, but I forget about Strength. But yeah, um, maybe I'll give that to Lanoon as well. Then again, Strength isn't too bad, so I may give it to one of my main team members, as I normally do. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a good Monday, a good start to your week. Uh, believe it or not, I'm recording this video like literally an hour and a half before it's supposed to go up. So yeah, um, if you watched the Pokemon Gaia episode from Friday, I know I said like, Oh yeah, I'm going to try to get ahead this weekend on videos, and I just had some things going on. Really, it's uh, stuff on the main channel that's been taking up my time, man. We're, we're doing so many things over there, like streaming, and, and I'm doing I'm posting YouTube shorts very frequently, and then also working on the regular videos and all that good stuff. So, been focusing a lot on that, but we're going to keep up with the schedule over here as well. So, no need to worry at all. Trying to get grassy terrain. Nah, I don't think I've ever used one of those terrain moves in my life. But you did get to level 27, so we'll put someone else to the front. But yeah, hopefully I can get this video up by noon Eastern time like I normally do. But if I don't get it exactly by noon, it is not the end of the world. I'm not too worried. So let's move into the little uh, Stonehenge area. Um, yeah, this place is, I think, kind of historic for the people around here. But we actually get some wild grass now instead of the flowers, and Emolga is not the mon I want. I am actually looking for a different flying type, and this is exactly who, Halucha. 
Um, yeah, Halucha is a Pokemon that doesn't evolve or anything, and usually I try to use Pokemon that do evolve just because, I don't know, I like seeing evolutions. But you know what? It's a fighting and flying type, so kind of unique, and um, it doesn't really need to evolve. This thing is very strong, and it remains strong throughout the game. I'm pretty sure the champion has one on her team, so yeah, and okay, it'd be nice if it would... Stay in uh, an Ultra Ball and, uh, you know, at least shake or something. I'm probably going to lose Litleo here, but hey, it's all going to be worth it if I can just catch this thing. I'll try a Great Ball next. I don't know if this thing has, um, or if this thing's hard to catch, but hopefully it's not too difficult or I'm going to have to do another quick cut. But here we go, three shakes, and that does it. Let's go, man. Let's go. So, yeah, we got Halucha. And you know what? I've been thinking of a name for this guy. I really don't have much, but Nachos just popped into my head. Don't ask why, but they did. And uh, you know what? Like Lucha, Nachos kind of kind of sounds similar, right? Ah, whatever. Um, but yeah, Nachos is a pretty fun name. And I'm pumped to use Halucha. Never used one before. So this will be interesting. Now right over here is a Mind Plate. And let me go ahead and heal up the squad a bit. Before we go uh, put him to the front and continue taking on some trainers. Because, yeah, even though it's only level 19, I'm pretty confident that Halucha can fend for itself. Because it's one of those Pokemon that, as I said, doesn't evolve. So it's very strong right when you get it. But I feel like it also remains strong throughout the game as well. You don't really have to worry about it dropping off like other Pokemon might. Like, for instance, in Sinnoh with Pachirisu or something like that. So, yeah, let's check out these. You want to talk to me, man? There we go. But yeah, you can check out all these like little hedges and whatnot. I don't know. It's um, kind of weird. But I guess they've got some sort of history to them. And let me actually spray some super repels that... Oh, well, I only have one. I think I have more repels. So I'll be sure to spray those. But yeah, you're also going to find Team Flare at some point. So... Oh my goodness, the wild Pokemon are at the same level. That's pathetic. There's Golit though. Um, I'm pretty sure I've used a Golit before in this game, so yeah, it's not a bad option. Fortunately, we are fast, so we can just easily run away. But yeah, you're gonna run into Team Flare very soon. I forget exactly where, so hopefully uh, I'm prepared when I do, but right there's an X accuracy. And we can come back over here, and there we go. Here's the first Grunt. So yeah, Team Flare is kind of hanging around here, and you're gonna see another Grunt up in Geocinch Town. Just sort of remember that area because you will need to come back here much, much later on in the game. For now, we just gotta, you know, do the typical beat up on some Team Flare grunts. I mean, come on, y'all were just in the Glittering Cave. That whole plan didn't work out. What are you trying to do here? But yeah, look at this. We already have Karate Chop, Aerial Ace, and Wing Attack. So just a really strong moveset right off the bat for Halucha. And then look at that, a crit Karate Chop. And that is an Oko. Let's go, Nachos. And... It'll probably take a while to uh, get him caught up with the team. And no, I don't want Endeavor on Litleo. But yeah, just like it did with Floet, um, it'll probably take a second, but that's fine. And this is a Golbat who we don't match up as well against. So you know what? Give me Kermit the Frog. Give me Frogadier. And hopefully uh, we can handle this thing fine. Just don't confuse me. Okay, of course. Right off the bat. As soon as I say it, this thing confuses me. Perfect. No, that's great. That's great. Alright, we've got Water Pulse. As long as we don't hit ourselves, we should be... <laughs> Why do I speak? Should I just do a silent episode next time? Part 13 is going to be a just silent episode. Just me working my way through the next route. Oh my goodness, Kermit the Frog. You're about to get fired off the Muppet Show. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, let me know if y'all saw the newest uh, Nintendo Direct though. Um, because that did go up last week and seemed pretty good. I think a lot of people are happy about it. You know, got some big, big name releases. Like I know the Metroid Prime game, that one's new, I think. Um, the Mario and Luigi games coming back or something like that. There's nothing that really caught my attention though, I won't lie. Um, I know they're porting over a Donkey Kong Country game. So I got a, I don't know, I got one of those Donkey Kong Country games for the 3DS but never completed it, so... I gotta get into that maybe but uh yeah overall nothing too crazy for me like the only thing that's really gonna get me to pop off in a nintendo direct is something like super mario galaxy 3 gets announced or something like that just something crazy you know 
And it, did it just start to rain on this route? Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, this guy's going to run off. We got a couple more of them to deal with, though, so I don't think we're completely done with them. Um, I don't think there's anything up in that corner. And another wild battle, though. Yo, Halucha, you need some levels quickly, my man. You need some levels quickly, let me tell you. Let me tell you. All right, it's fine, though. We're almost level 20, I guess. And yeah, I think it literally just started to rain on this round. That's great. Love the rain. Is there a hidden item over here? Oh, well, I can't check because we got another wild battle. That's great. And I could do a little honor battle here, but I'm not going to do that. But uh, yeah, we're in kind of the second half of the route now, I'd say. We'll uh, we'll beat the rest of the trainers here and then explore Geosenge Town, which will not take very long at all. Also, I just realized the little bottom menu in the battle... Um, where, you know, you can select your Pokemon in battle and all that. When it's raining, it has, like, little raindrops rolling down, and that's kind of cool. That's a neat little feature that I don't think I've ever noticed before. That is pretty cool. I wonder if they did that in the Unova games, but I don't think they did. Alright, let's go take on the Psychic first, who's running in circles. I mean, what are you doing, man? Making no progress with your life? You're just sitting here on Route 10 running in circles. Couldn't be me. He's got a Meditite, though. I think this will be pretty easy because, again, we're part flying. Now, Wing Attack and Aerial Ace, I'm pretty sure, are the same base power. Um, the only difference is Aerial Ace can't miss. So, I guess I'll just go for Aerial Ace. Then again, Wing Attack's also 100% accurate. But, yeah, look at that powerful animation. Especially coming from a Halucha. I mean, these people ain't ready, man. These people ain't ready. Oh, Encore, though? No. I don't know if I've ever used Encore. And then Curlia, alright, I know we're weak to this guy, but you know what, um, I'm confident that we can, uh, we can take it out, maybe. I think we outspeed, right? We do outspeed, if this does over half, then we should be good. Yeah, it does. And she tried to go for teleport, good job. Also, I just learned that we have Limber as our ability, so I believe that means we can't ever get paralyzed, so that's very helpful, very helpful. Then again, we're not going to be going up against too many electric types, so... How useful is it really, you know? But um, let's go over here. I don't think this guy's a trainer. Nope. You were just talking about Geosinge Town. And so is this Team Flare Grunt. Her Electric and Krogung just stood no chance. Halucha is already proving why it's uh, going to be such a good mon for the team. I won't even lie. This thing's a beast. But yeah, we're going to have one more Grunt after this. Also, I just realized I missed an item, which stinks. And also, I'm not sure what the range of levels are on this route. It looks like anywhere from like 18, 19 to like maybe 21. So I guess I got one of the lower leveled Haluchas, but that's okay. That's all right. All right, let me grab this item that I missed. It is a Thunderstone. I don't think I really need that in this playthrough, but uh, hey, there you go. If you do have a Pokemon that needs it. But yeah, there's one more Team Flare Grunt waiting on us somewhere over here. I don't think you fight us, do you? No, again, a lot of people just talking about, like, ancient times because I think these stones have probably been here for, like, 50 million years or something. But you've got a gulpin. I'm not too worried about this. Not too worried. Send out our boy Nachos. I like the animation, too. He all, like, he stands tall and proud and all, so that's pretty neat. But, yeah, just going to keep on going for Aerioise. Pretty solid attack to have at this point in, uh, in the game. But yeah, so we got the Nintendo Direct. Um, when do y'all think we're getting a Pokemon Presents um, next? Because we got the one, right, the last one we got was in February on Pokemon Day. I feel like we're due for one somewhat soon, you know? And I may or may not do like a live reaction over on the main channel as a, uh, as a live stream. So we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, I don't know. Um, that will be, that'll be interesting when we, when we do do one. And I'm pretty excited. I do want to try my best to do uh, live reactions to those because used to I haven't been able to just because I just got back into streaming over there. But uh, now that I am streaming, hopefully we can do those. All right, let me heal up this annoying poison and then we only have one more person left to defeat. It's another tourist. So yeah, the tourist, uh, I guess this is another big tourist attraction here. And then we'll head into Geosunge Town. I may have missed an item, but if I did, I'll go back and grab it. Not too big of a deal. There's nothing crazy happening on this route anyways. All right, you've got a Drifloon. Well, good thing I'm not only fighting type, and I've got some flying type moves on hand. Oh, we do have Roost as well, so I don't know. It's not like this is a hardcore Nuzlocke. I mean, I can heal in battle. The only other thing about Roost is that it'll take away our flying type for, I think, only one turn, right? 
So we'll become just a plain fighting type at that point, which could be interesting to uh, mess around with, but for now we're doing fine. And you have a patch of Risu. Ooh, I will switch for that. Let's go to our boy Leo. Lit Leo. I know I searched up a while ago when Lit Leo evolves, but I've already forgotten again. So, hey, I think it's just going to be like a little surprise when we do uh, when we do evolve. I want to say it's in the 30s, like low 30s if I had to guess. Also, why are we getting outsped by a patch of Risu? There we go. There we go, Lit Leo. And then one more mod for this Taurus. Yeah, stick to sightseeing. You can't really battle too well. Hippopotas. All right, we'll just make it easy go into Kermit. Go into Kermit, who is once again our highest level mod. But yeah, so we've got four team members now, and our fifth team member won't be... <laughs> well, I'm trying to remember who my fifth team member is going to be. I'm not going to lie. I literally looked at the list before recording this video, too. Uh, but it won't be for a little, a little while, I'm sure. Um, because again, we only have two gym badges. I don't want to fully like stack out the team right now But you know, it'll happen. It'll happen That'll come with time All right, so we defeated you and let's head into Geosinch town So all I'm really gonna do is grab some items. Um, we'll start by checking out the hotel Actually, I don't think there's even uh, any items in here But we can see our good old dude in the purple suit who does the O powers and stuff I think he's always in the last room, right? Yep, yeah, here he is. Or maybe it's more of a pink suit. I don't know. But yeah, oh, I didn't want to hear an explanation. No. So yeah, that time he does your speed power. Uh, again, I just, I've never used these things. I honestly have no idea what they do, but I'll show them off just for the walkthrough's sake. But that's really it for the hotel here. Um, again, this is not a big town. So we're just grabbing some items. We'll head next door over to the Pokemon Center though because there's a TM you can get in here. You're going to want to talk to this guy over by the dressing area and he'll give you TM 66 payback. Never really liked this move. I don't know. It's it's okay. Um, I mean, it's doubled if what you take a hit beforehand. So I guess you got to have on more of a slower Pokemon. All right. If we loop around behind, oh, well, first we got a Team Flare Grunt over here. Yeah, so this guy's going to head off uh, to the northwest side of town, and we'll follow him in just a second. But for now, let's loop around the Pokemon Center and grab this Soft Sand, which could come in handy if you've got a ground type on the team right now. And then I think there's only two more hi uh, items for us to get. One of them will be in this house, maybe? I think it's from the Scientist, or it could be from the other person. Yep, here we go, an Everstone. An item that I don't think I've ever used, and I don't think I ever will use, um, because... I don't know, who wouldn't want to evolve their Pokemon, you know? Alright, but we're going to go to the northwest side of town, and we're going to track down that Grunt yet again, and he's going to walk off um, into this little path, and basically stare right at us, like, ooh, we got caught. And then Serena follows us, um, yep, there was someone right here, but yeah, she's like, wait, that's a dead end, how could he have gone off that way? Well, at the end of this dead end is a giant boulder, but it looks pretty suspicious, almost looks like a door's behind it. Yeah, just keep that in mind for later on. You may or may not need to come back here. But anyways, we're going to check out one more house, and we can just grab another simple item, nothing too crazy, but it's going to be north of the uh, of the hotel, which is right there. So actually, I don't think we are going into a house. We're just heading out behind uh, this place. So yeah, we'll grab a timer ball, and that does it for the items in Geosunge Town. The only other thing to do here is a little battle that we'll do um, as we're exiting the town. However, I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. For now, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, deuces!